And we are back at Pete Matthews Coliseum on the campus of Jacksonville State University as we continue now with our live coverage of the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. I'm Mickey Shadricks, joined now by Robert Smith courtside as we are getting set for game number three here in the Holiday Hoops Challenge. It'll be the Alexandria Valley Cubs taking on Plainview. Robert Smith, as I said, joining me. And Robert, uh, TV24 is kind of uh, our encyclopedia for all that is Alexandria sports. Robert, you follow football very closely, but you also follow the Alexandria basketball team. And uh, they come into this game today. Uh, Really only one hiccup in their season. They lost to a, a very close game to Anniston. They, like Plainview, played last night. They beat Cleburne County fairly easily. Plainview lost a heartbreaker in overtime to Douglas. So uh, like a lot of teams who are playing in this challenge today, their kind of uh, legs are will be a little tired today. That's true. It's, it's very interesting that, that both teams played a game last night, turned around and played another one tonight. You, you normally don't see that in the regular season. Alexandria coming up with a big win, had a 34-point advantage, I believe, going into the fourth quarter last night against Cleveland County. And as you said, Plainview losing a heartbreaker to Douglas. But I know they, they probably, like everybody else, do not believe in moral victories, but Douglas is always a power in basketball. To take them to overtime kind of tells you what kind of team Plainview has. And there's a look at the Plainview bench. Head coach Robbie Coker, here's how he'll start the game. You have Chase Willingham, Will Clark, Clay Cooper, Cody Willingham, and Isaiah Glover. Their leading scorer coming into this game is Will Kirk at 18 points a game. They are five and three on the season, as we said, after the heartbreaking loss last night to Douglas in overtime. And here's the America's first starting lineup for the Alexandria Valley Cubs, who come into this game at five and one. As we mentioned, their only loss of the season was earlier this year to Aniston. They will start Nick Porter, Alton Davis, Tyrell Gay, Luke Tucker, and Dakota Kelly. Kelly was their leading scorer against Cleburne County last night as he scored 15, and he is a leading scorer on the season, averaging right over 10 points per game. So game number three of the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge set to get underway here. We've got three more games to go. Some exciting basketball ahead here, and we're looking forward to more great action throughout the afternoon and the evening here at Pete Matthews Coliseum. We'd like to invite you to come out and take part in the games. Coming up after this game, it'll be Saxon and Geraldine. We'll have Oxford and Sparkman in game five. Then tonight, Gadsden City and Talladega should be a great way to end the Hoops Challenge. Set to tip it off now. And the tip will be controlled by Plainview. Cody Willingham controls. Alexandria starting off in that typical man-to-man -man defense that the Valley Cubs love to play. Point blank uh, range inside, the shot was missed that time. And here come the Valley Cubs back down the floor. Tyrell Gay over to Nick Porter. Back out to Luke Tucker. Plainview also in a man-to-man -man defense to start the game. Get it inside to the big fella. And he misses. That was DeMarcus Swink who actually is getting the start today. Those starting lineups were probable starting lineups, so coaches making some changes, which we thought they might after playing last night's game. Another tough break for Plainview that time as Chase Willingham missed his runner. Here come the Valley Cubs. Tyrell Gay over to Luke Tucker. Tucker's three is good. So both teams starting the game, taking it down the court and missing their shots, not getting the rebound. Alexandria able to get the first points of the ball game. Tyrell Gay hustling down court to get the steal. Oh man, open inside. Alton Davis lays it in and we've got a quick timeout called here by Plainview as head coach Robbie Coker wants to stop play for the moment and Valley Cubs with five quick points now Robert taking the early lead. Yeah the nice three there by uh, Luke Tucker from the left corner and then the follow up on the next possession by Swink for Alexandria. This is the Cubs out to an early 5-0 lead and coach Tucker wants to talk things over not to and you got a 5A team playing a 3A team. They, they know they're uh, they're playing up as far as classification here, and uh, he wants to take a timeout before things get out of hand. Here's a good look at Coach Coker, the Plainview coach. 
And Coach Johnson for Alexandria. Valley Cubs play out of 5A area 12. Plainview out of 3A area 14. Trap here at half court. Alexandria coming out very active defensively, Robert, and that's what the Valley Cubs like to do. Yeah, they do. They have done it for a lot of years. Plainview gets a man free, and the shot by Chase Willingham is no good, but he is fouled on the way to the hoop. And you'll see as Lee goes in, there's the foul, and he will go to the free throw line. Trying to get the first points of the game for Plainview. And the shot is no good. Second attempt for Willingham. No good again. Plainview with the rebound, and the shot is up, and I think they're going to count it. That was number 22, Isaiah Glover. I believe he was fouled by the Valley Cubs, Dakota Kelly. Yes, it is. No correction, as Luke Tucker, I believe they got for the foul. And, Mickey, that's a big bucket there for Plainview. Is that, had Alexandria gotten that rebound, taking the ball back down the court, but now it's a 5-2 game with a chance to cut it to a two-point lead. Glover hits the free throw. So Plainview getting on the board. And they trail by two, five to three. Two minutes gone by in our first quarter. Rob inside to Tucker, but knocked out of bounds. And we apologize, we've got some confusion on our roster here, so we're going to have to check some numbers here. Get that squared away for you. Alton Davis attacking in the lane. A little floater's good. So Davis now with four points in the game. There's that Alexandria trapping defense, really causing Plainview some problems. Inside it goes. Nice left hand that time by Glover. A nice pass to get it inside. Laid it up off the glass, cuts it back to a two-point ball game. Nick Porter shot is no good. Glover now with all five of Plainview's points. Plainview with a chance to tie or take the lead, and they do take the lead. That is a three as Clay Cooper puts his team up eight to seven. Valley Cubs back down quickly. Porter's drive. Forces it up. Wanted a whistle, no foul. And here comes Plainview. Pushing it up the floor, and oh, tough break there. The layup no good by Clark. And here comes Alexandria. Dakota Kelly's three rims in and out of there. Porter up for the rebound. Battle for the loose ball. They'll say it's off Porter. It'll go over to Plainview. Shaw checks in the game for the Valley Cubs. And back in for Plainview is Chase Willingham. Nick Porter will go to the bench for Alexandria. Bob into Willingham. And Tyrell Gay once again coming up from behind, getting a steal. Kelly open again. Fires from the corner, no good. Rebound controlled by Willingham. Kelly, a very good three-point shooter. He's got to take those when, when he's got to. So the Cubs had the opportunity after the steal to take the lead. Couldn't take advantage of it. Here's a shot for three for Plainview. Here comes Tyrell Gay pushing it. Takes it all the way, and he is hacked on the way to the hoop, and Tyrell Gay will shoot a couple of free throws. So Tyrell Gay at the free throw line for Alexandria with a chance to tie it up. This is the first, and you know as well as anyone, Gay has had an outstanding athletic career at Alexandria High School, great football player. Really turned it on toward the end of the season in football. Been a great contributor to the basketball program as well. Looking for his first point. Doesn't get it. Misses both. Battling for the ball, though, and throws it off a Plainview player. Great hustle by Tyrell Gay, kind of making up for those missed free throws. 
Valley Cubs will substitute once again. Gabe will go out of the game and checking in will be Caleb Young who's averaging about seven points a game. Alexandria very balanced scoring. They've got about four guys right around the double figure mark in scoring. Plainview sitting in the zone now. Alexandria moving the ball. Nice drive, tough break that time as Young missed the shot inside the lane. So here comes Plainview. Three-point try is way off the mark by Cooper. And Alexandria's got it. So the Cubs with another opportunity to take the lead. And this time Dakota Kelly drains the three. Missed his but kept shooting and got that one to fall. Kelly from the left corner. That is his first points. Makes it a 10 to 8 Alexandria lead as the Valley Cubs reclaim the lead. Nice drive all the way to the basket by Cooper. Nice block though that time by Kelly and Plainview will inbound with 254 now left in our first quarter. Inside it goes and the shot is good by Chase Willingham. Willingham his first points of the game and we are tied at 10. Nice shot off the glass there for Willingham to tie it up. Riley Shaw. They swing it over to Kelly. Now in the corner to Shaw. Looking inside and it's off the hands of Kevin Swink. So Plainview will get it back. Another substitution for the Valley Cubs. Checking in will be Chance Williams. Alexandria playing a lot of guys here early in this game. And you'll see that out of Alexandria. A lot of times they can put in five guys and a lot of times I've seen them put in five guys and then substitute an entirely different five and it's hard to tell the difference. And that tends to help you on in the fourth quarter. So here is Plainview. Got a man open inside, but a good job by Kelly stealing that one. So the Valley Cubs push it up the floor. Kelly gets bumped on the drive and gets it to fall. The basket will count. Great job by Dakota Kelly. You see Kelly there with a basket to put the Cubs out in the lead with a chance to put Alexandria up by three right here. And he hits it. See, Kelly gets the three-point play the old-fashioned way. Three-point Valley Cub lead. A little full-court pressure by Alexandria. Kurt dishes it inside, and Paul Clark couldn't control it. So here comes Young for Alexandria. I believe we've got some of these numbers straightened out for you. <laughs> Give you a correction on that in a moment. I believe Will Kirk is number 24 instead of number 14. So we've made that correction. That's him in the lane there. Good job by the big guy. He gets it to fall and he is fouled. And there you see the shot up. Plainview has a chance to tie the game up again. So Kirk now with his first points of the game, the fourth Plainview player to score. He hits the free throw. And as Robert said, we are tied again. 139 left in our first quarter. Very good first quarter so far. Very entertaining game. 13 to 13 between 3A Plainview and 5A Alexandria. Alexandria. Good ball movement here against the zone. Kelly's three is short. Battle for the loose ball, and we're going to have a jump ball. And it will be Alexandria's possession on the jump ball. And Tyrell Gay will check back into the game. And leaving the game will be Austin Wells. 
So a short break there for Tyrell Gay as he comes back in with a minute 18 to play here in the first quarter. Alexandria already played nine guys here in this first period. Cross court pass to Kelly. Misses again, so Kelly now one for five from behind the arc. Oh, Plainview with a player ahead of the field. Nice pump fake and nice lay in that time by Paul Clark. A nice offensive play there for Plainview. Nice shot to take the lead. Kelly, hey, doesn't hesitate. Keeps shooting it and he hits that one. Dakota Kelly with his second tray of the ball game to put the Cubs back into the lead. Kelly with nine of Alexandria's 16 points. Long three right back at you. Chase Willingham, who's having a pretty good first quarter as well. He's got five points. Plainview right back in front by two. Mickey, you and I were watching Plainview shooting those threes in, in the pregame warmups. They're not disappointing us in the ball game. They were definitely, uh, it was easy to tell that they could shoot the basketball in warmups. Knocked out of bounds. Alexandria maintains possession with 10 seconds left. Here comes Davis and Porter back in. Swink and Kelly will take a seat. Alexandria with a chance for the last shot of the quarter. With a chance to tie or reclaim the lead. Tyrell Gay. Got to make his move. Long shot by Young is good at the buzzer. Caleb Young gets his first points of the game, and it's a tray. So we will end the period. We get a little another look at it. That was a long three by Young. The left-hander drains it. After one quarter, it is Alexandria leading plane to you 19 to 18 as we will continue with our live coverage of the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. Hey, it'll be just a second. Wait, with a new checking account, it takes like five to seven business days to get a debit card. It's 2014, nobody waits five to seven days for anything. I mean, I got things to do. Am I supposed to go home and sit in a dark room for five to seven business days? This is... Here you go. Unbelievable. I'm gonna be the perfect mom. Herman? Just like in the movies. I should totally start a blog. Life can surprise you. So can an Allstate agent. With accident forgiveness, they can make sure your rates don't go up after one because everyone has an off day. The good hands are doing more than ever before. Visit us at Parnell Insurance Agency in Oxford, Alabama, Tallapoosa, Georgia, where you'll receive hometown service. And we are back at the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge, presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. A very good first quarter as Alexandria leads Plainview 19 to 18. Plainview will inbound once again against tight man-to-man -man pressure by the Valley Cup. So, Robert, very good first quarter by both teams. Absolutely. Close ball game, and it was a good one. Robert takes it all the way, and he is fouled en route to the basket. And it was on the floor, so Plainview will inbound the ball. They lob it into Kirk. Three-point try is good by Willingham. Battle for the ball, controlled by Plainview. It's knocked, knocked away, and Alexandria has it, and a foul against Plainview in the backcourt. That'll be against number 11, Chase Willingham. Alexandria begins the second quarter with Gay, Porter, Royal, and Young. Meanwhile, for Plainview, it's Willingham, Cooper, Scott, Kirk, and Willingham. And this is Willingham. Long three from the top of the key, and he drains it to put Plainview back in the lead. Looked at a lot of lead changes in this ball game. Nice stroke there by Willingham. His first point of the game. Alexandria back on the attack. Plainview now electing to stay with the zone. 
They started off in a man-to-man. -man. They've been in the zone for the last several minutes, and we've got a hold inside against Willingham as he was locked up with Alton Davis on the low block. Another substitution for the Valley Cubs. Tucker and Kelly check in. Young and Royal will take a seat. Coach Johnson back to his starting five. Alton Davis is going to be called for a charge here as it was taken there by number 33, Dylan Scott. And you see the charge there. And Plainview will get possession with the lead, a two-point lead at that. Full court pressure by the Valley Cubs. Three-point shot is no good by Willingham. It's off of Alexandria. You see Coach Robbie Coker. His team coming off that heartbreaking overtime loss to Douglas last night. Battling here in this one is Kirk. Puts it in for his fifth point of the game. Kelly, nice pump fake drive to the basket. They're going to call the foul on the floor before the shot. And in the early going, Mickey, it looks like Alexandria may be the team that kind of has the hangover, even though the Cubs had a big win last night and Plainview lost to Heartbreaker. Well, the difference in this one so far is what you and I saw in pregame is the shooting. You're Outside right. shooting has been there for Plainview. Valley Cubs struggling a bit. Dakota Kelly has hit one three. Tyrell Gay misses a three there. Plainview going to sit in that zone. Alexandria is going to have to hit some outside shots. Plainview with their largest lead of the game so far, 23 to 19, as we go under six minutes to play here in our first half. Willingham thought about shooting, held up because of the defense, and they get him for traveling. So now the Cubs will inbound it from right in front of the Alexandria bench. Now the Cubs looking to trim into that lead, and Dakota Kelly, I tell you, Robert, he is showing a lot of a lot of determination here. He's missed a few, but he just keeps shooting, and he gets his second three right there. Nice stroke. Back down quickly. Plainview misses the shot, but they get the ball. Dakota Kelly now with three threes in the game. He's got 12 points to lead all scores. Yeah, Dakota Kelly is part of one of those families that you, if you're from Alexandria, you just know that name. His older brother, Hunter was a quarterback for Alexandria, played baseball at Auburn. And here's his younger brother, Dakota Kelly, a great athlete as well. And Coach Coker going to make a substitution now as he sends Clark into the game. Scott will take a seat. And the ball is thrown in in the backcourt. Dakota Kelly is going to chase it down and has his shot blocked by Clay Cooper. Great hustle there by Cooper to stop what was looked like it was going to be an easy layup for Dakota Kelly. You see the hustle by Cooper. Yep. Kelly was driving in to lay it up. And had it taken away from him. Valley Cubs missed again, but they will keep possession. Gay now to inbound it. Inside they go. Nice ball movement. Tucker missed the layup. Got it back. Had his shot partially blocked. Gets it blocked again. But a whistle finally inside against number 22, Isaiah Glover. And that'll send Luke Tucker to the free throw line. And that first shot, especially there for Luke Tucker, indicative of how Alexandria's having trouble even buying a basket. We'll see what Luke can do here from the free throw line. Tucker misses the first. Tucker has three points in the game. He hit a three in the first quarter. Second free throw attempt is good. So Tucker now with four points in the game. And it is a tie game once again. And Alexandria trying to kind of work their way back into it here with defense. When you're struggling on the offensive end a little bit, pick up that defense. Mm -hmm. 
Plainview gets it into Willingham. They throw it down court for Clark. Nice job beating the press. That time by Plainview. You gotta wonder if Alexandria playing a lot of guys here early. Keep, they keep up this man-to-man -man pressure, how it might weigh on Plainview as the game goes along. But right now, Plainview is handling it beautifully. Clark got a great pass and laid it in to put his team back ahead by two. Losing last night, 72 to 70 in overtime. You don't seem to have much of a hangover, as you said, by You're Plainview. Right. They're coming out here playing very well offensively. Alexandria making so many substitutions. Cubs have eight guys on the bench to only three guys on four guys on the bench for Plainview, and that's what I alluded to earlier. It'll be interesting to see when we get down to the fourth quarter how much that comes into play. Yeah, you would have to think that at some point that might favor the Valley Cubs because they definitely are deeper, no doubt about it. And Coach Johnson's taking advantage of that depth, playing so many guys in the first half. Porter swings it over to Shaw. Long three, no good. Nice follow by Kelly, and he is fouled inside by Isaiah Glover. So after missing the three, you'll see that right here. And Dakota Kelly comes in in the right spot, right time, lays it up off the glass and has a chance to make it a three-point play. And here's his shot. Folks, you can see why this guy needs to just keep shooting. He is having himself a great game offensively. He had nine points in the first quarter, and he's got six here in the second. 15 points to lead all scorers. He's got 15 of Alexandria's 26 points. Valley Cubs up by a point. Here comes Plainview. Nice job by Porter right in Willingham's grill. Willingham pulls up, misses the shot, and there is Kelly for the rebound. And the Valley Cubs push it. Back to Porter. Thought about it. Back to Porter again. This time Nick fires and hits it. Nick Porter with his first points of the game. And Alexandria starting to heat up now from that three-point line, Robert. Yeah, you see that nice tray right there from uh, Nick Porter. And Alexandria back to their largest lead since they led five to nothing in the early going. Plainview showing a lot of patience and discipline on the offensive end. First thing you got to do is, against this kind of defense is just protect the basketball, make good crisp passes. Plainview does it there. They get it inside to Isaiah Glover. Glover now with seven points in the game to lead his team in scoring as Plainview makes it a two-point Alexandria lead. Two and a half minutes to play in the first half. A turnover. Porter was trying to hit Alton Davis at the free throw line. It bounced off his leg. So now Plainview with a chance to tie or retake the lead. Well, you can tell both of these teams are very well coached. Mm -hmm. Again, very patient here by Plainview. Nice pick and roll, shot up and good by Clark. He now has a four-point quarter, six overall in the game, and we are tied. Kelly right back down, misses the three, and Willingham runs down the loose ball. That was a heat check for Dakota Kelly. It was. <laughs> and we're back tied for the umpteenth time. Umpteenth time. I can't count that high, Mickey. <laughs> Coach Coker, I don't know if you can hear him, but he is just barking out instructions from the bench. I tell you, if you like to watch coaches work from the sideline, you got to be here for the Talladega Gadsden City game tonight because Chucky Miller is one of the more colorful personalities in all of high school basketball. And he and his Talladega Tigers will take on Gadsden City tonight in the final game of the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge. That game is scheduled to kick off around 7.30. Here you see Robbie Coker <laughs> really into it here. And doing his Wimp Sanderson impression <laughs> with that plaid coat. Did you notice that? Yeah, meeting? I saw him before the game, and he was just walking around in his normal kind of coach attire and then come out for the game, and he's got the Wimp Sanderson yeah, exactly. jacket on. Nice look there by Coach Coker. 
whose team is playing very well against 5A Alexandria. Tied up here, under a minute to play first half. Dakota Kelly, strong drive, trying to draw the foul, didn't get the whistle, but the putback that time by Ronnie Royal, who gets his first points of the game. Here comes Plainview quickly back down the floor. Willingham a little out of control, and it costs him a charging foul, and it was taken by Ronnie Royal. Willingham will pick up the personal. And I've got him for two fouls, so he'll take a seat. Coach Coker will send a substitute in to get him out of the game. So the Cubs with a two-point lead, 44 seconds to go. And Riley Shaw inbounds it into Young. See if Alexandria, how patient they are here. They could possibly hold for one. Shaw takes the shot instead. Swink there for the rebound, and he can't get it to fall. So Plainview now with an opportunity to play for the last shot. Thought Alexandria might hold it there. But Shaw got a good look and just missed it. Here we go. Willingham drives in the lane. Tough shot. Great defense that time by Young. Affected the shot. And that'll take us to the end of the first half. And it has been a good one here in our third game of the Holiday Hoops Challenge. Alexandria with a 31 to 29 lead over Plainview here at halftime. And our own Gerhard Mathingani is standing by, I believe. We're just about ready. Pitch it to him with Coach Robbie Coker. Thanks, guys. Coach, uh, talk about the way your team's playing in the first half. It seems like you got on a really, really good shooting tear there in the second quarter. We did. We got some rhythm on offense. Alexander does a great job of pressuring the basketball. If you can handle that first trap or that initial push, you just can get an open shot. We were able to maybe value the ball a little more down the stretch there and get some great shots, which led to great results. Talk about the second half and some of the ways you want to be able to attack this team and be able to, to stay fresh as well. Yeah, we're running a 2-3 zone. Uh, we're not we're a traditionally a man-to-man -man team, but we had a hard game last night. They're so athletic. It's hard for us to guard them. We're going to hope they miss and uh, hopefully keep them off the glass. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Coach. Let's get with your team. Coach Coker and the Plainview Bears down by two. You guys, back to you. Sounds like he pretty much summed up what you and I noticed here in the first half is they uh, – Started off in that man, then they went to that zone and trying to basically hope Alexandria doesn't heat up too much from the three-point line. The Valley Cups do have a two-point lead here at halftime, 31-29. We will come back in just a moment with more from the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. Hello, my name is Stan Albright, and I'm the senior pastor here at the First Baptist Church in Oxford, Alabama. We want to welcome you to come and celebrate the seasons of life with us as we understand that no matter what season that we may be in at this time in our life, that there is hope in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Would you come and be our guest this Sunday? We look forward to seeing you then, and God bless. When it comes to barbecue, nobody does it better than Dad's Barbecue. With locations in Anniston and Rainbow City, folks from all over East Alabama love Dad's. So I've been eating at Dad's ever since Dad's has been here, I guess. I, you know, I don't know, up, the, up at uh, by the old Kmart. So Dad's is a great place, and I've always said, you know, they've got the best sauce around. Dad's is a frequent stop at least once a week. For dine-in, takeout, or tailgating, nobody does it better than Dad's Barbecue. Visit us today in Anniston or Rainbow City. And we are back at Pete Matthews Coliseum. Mickey Shadricks and Robert Smith rejoining you courtside here at the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. We are into our third game here on this Saturday at the Pete. And at halftime, it is Alexandria leading Plainview 31-29. to And Robert, you and I have been here and watching the game so far. Sacred Heart kind of had an easy time earlier today in our first game against Collinsville. White Plains uh, was able to beat five. Uh, pretty handily in the second game. This is really our first really contested right game, game right. so far, and this kind of seesaw back and forth. Talk about your impressions of the first half. Well, it was it was a great ball game. The, the lead changed so many times, and, and the thing is that Plainview uh, 
they're not intimidated by playing a 5A team. You can see that. They're well coached, as you mentioned, during the ball game. And uh, I think when you compare to the, to the first two games that we saw in which the Calhoun County teams really got the best of the DeKalb County teams, this has been the best ball game by far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Coach Coker really pretty much summed up their strategy. They had a tough, tough loss last night in overtime to Douglas. Alexandria played last night as well, but really wasn't challenged that much against Heflin. So uh, he's a little concerned about their depth and what he went through last night. So I expect to see that zone for Plainview the rest of the second half. I guess unless Alexandria heats up too much, then he may have to come out of it. Yeah, and I think that's what we're going to see. That that's going to tell the tale here in the second half. Not only did uh, did Alexandria miss a lot of shots, uh, had Alexandria hit some of the shots, maybe that the, had some of the shots to fall, it wouldn't be a two-point ball game. The Cubs would have an impressive lead. But uh, I think it's going to the, the tell the thing that's going to tell the tale in the second half is uh, whether Alexandria can get a little bit more hotter shooting the, the basketball, and then that depth that we've talked about. When you've got a 5A team playing a 3A team, Alexandria much deeper on the bench. Cubs do a lot of substituting, and it's going to depend on uh, those two things. I think will tell the tale of where we have a, a close ball game at the end of it, or where Alexandria is able to pull away late in the ball game. You know, both teams have not played that many games so far this season. Both teams have five wins coming in to today's Holiday Hoops game. Uh, Plainview has three losses, Alexandria with just one. But looking at Alexandria, the thing, the impressions I get from them is they're very deep, very balanced. They've got a little bit of everything. They've got some size inside. Uh, I would think that as the season goes along and they play more games, a lot of upside for Coach Johnson's team. What's your thoughts? I think you're exactly right. And, uh, that has been kind of the hallmark of this uh, 2014 team for Alexandria is that they, they do have a lot of balance. You can make those substitutions and uh, really not a lot of fall off when you when you send in different people. And the Cubs are off to their best start in uh, several years. Uh, Alexandria had a good season a year ago, not a great season, but a good one. But off to this five and one start in this season so far. And even in the loss, the, the only loss that Alexandria had was to Aniston. And they led going into the fourth quarter of that game. So if nothing else, that, that's got to give you some confidence. And, and you know as well as I do, Mickey, that uh, any, any kind of a sport, you've got to have the athleticism, but a lot of it is mental. And when you have that confidence going for you, that can take you a long way. And when you look at uh, Plainview, on the other hand, they compete out of 3A Area 14. They are a 3A school. They are in the same area with North Sand Mountain, Pisgah, and Sylvania. They have already beaten North Sand Mountain and Pisgah, so they're off to a 2-0 start in the area. Meanwhile, Alexandria, with the Aniston loss you were speaking of, uh, they uh, they are 0 and or they're 1 and 1 in the area. They did beat they did beat St. Clair County, so that is their first area win. Lincoln is also in that area. So talk about how you see the area race for Alexandria with St. Clair County, Aniston, and Lincoln. Well, Lincoln beat Aniston, so Lincoln's got to be considered probably the early favorite, and Alexandria gets uh, Lincoln uh, at Lincoln Thursday evening. So that will be a, a kind of a telltale thing if Alexandria can go down there and and pull off a win at Lincoln, then you're going to have Alexandria, Aniston, and Lincoln kind of, kind of all bunched up at the top with uh, with St. Clair County, kind of the the odd man, the only team that's kind of the odd man out at that point. That's a, that's a lot of ifs, but uh, Alexandria's trip to Lincoln on Thursday will go a long way to determining the the, the early part of this uh, area and how it's going to turn out. Well, Robert, let's remind everyone what's still coming up here at the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge. Earlier today, Sacred Heart defeated Collinsville. White Plains has knocked off five. Then right now we're in the Alexandria Plainview game. Then three more games to come after this one. It'll be Geraldine against Sachs. That game is scheduled to tip off at around 4.30. Then it's 6 o'clock. Sparkman out of Huntsville will play Oxford. And then the last game today will be Talladega and Gadsden City. That game is scheduled to tip off at 7.30. So still a lot of basketball left to be played here at Pete Matthews Coliseum. We will step aside for another break. Robert and I will return with second half action of Alexandria and Plainview. Plainview here on the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union.
time you got a car as reliable as you are. And America's First has made that more possible than you might think. Hi, my name is Reverend Jeffrey C. Williams, the owner and licensed funeral director of Anderson Funeral Services. At Anderson Funeral Services, we are compassion and caring individuals committed to providing quality and professional service at affordable prices. We are where service begins and never ends, and love is what love does. Anniston Funeral Services offers affordable services to meet any need for all family. Anniston Funeral Services, 630 South Wilmer Avenue, where service begins. And we are back on the TV 24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. Just to recap our individual scoring in the first half, Dakota Kelly leading Alexandria in all scores with 15 points. He has three threes. Also, uh, Alton Davis with four points. Nick Porter with three. Luke Tucker with four. Ronnie Royal with two. And Caleb Young with that three to end the first half. Meanwhile, for Plainview, balanced scoring for the Bears as well. Cody Willingham has a three. Chase Willingham has five points. Clay Cooper with three. Isaiah Glover is their leading scorer with seven points. Then uh, uh, Dylan Clark with five and Scott with six. So that is how the scoring break down, breaks down for both teams. Both teams back out on the floor, finishing up their, their warm-ups. And we'll see probably, I would think, Robert, pretty early here in the second half if this, the depth of Alexandria and this full court man-to-man -man pressure defense is going to start to wear down the Bears here. And that, Mickey, has been a hallmark of Alexandria basketball for years and years and years is that full court pressure defense being in condition, trying to be in a better condition than the other team and wearing you down as the game goes along. A look inside the Alexandria bench. Jason Johnson there at the left in the gray jacket and Jason is in his 15th season as a head coach. Seven seasons as the head coach at Cleburne County. And then of course took on a a job that not many people would have wanted and that is replacing a legend and replacing Larry Ginn in the 2006 season and Jason now in his eighth season as the head coach at Alexandria after playing for Larry again and probably his biggest win at Cleburne County was beating Alexandria and Larry again. You have just demonstrated why you are here my friend. <laughs> that kind of information would take me a year to fit fine. <laughs> All seriousness Robert Smith a, a walking encyclopedia of Alexandria sports really glad to have him joining us here. By the way Robert of course owns awards to remember who uh, is the awards provider for TV24. So we appreciate Robert and what he does for us individually and what his company does to help us in our promotion of high school athletics year round here on TV24. Alexandria with a stop defensively and they start the game with a bucket inside. They start the second half getting a bucket inside by DeMarcus Swink. A nice bucket by Swink right there for Alexandria to get the first points of the second half. Swink is a big young man, about 6'4", averaging about four points a game for the Cubs. Gets his first bucket of the game so far. Four-point lead, Alexandria. Plainview goes inside to their big guy, Will Kirk, and Kirk lays it in. Kirk lays it in for two. You'll see right here as he goes up. Shot off the glass and good. It's back to a two-point ball game. Kirk, the Bears' leading scorer coming into this game, but that's his first points of the game. So Alexandria has done a good job inside. He's averaging 18 a game, and he's got two. There is Luke Tucker hitting a big three. Tucker now two for two from behind the arc, and he now has seven points in the game. Another look at his shot. At Plainview inbounding against full court. Alexandria pressure. Get it across half court. Like Coach Coker said in the interview with Gerhard, as we get a charging foul here, you have to beat that first initial pressure, that first initial trap, because that's where Alexandria gets you. If you can get past that, as they sh showed on several occasions in the first half, you can beat the press and get a layup. But that time they get a charging foul. Alexandria with a five-point lead and the ball. Luke Tucker feeling it. Why not? Drains his second three in a row. 
and Luke Tucker could not buy one with a discount in the first half. And now back to back trays for Alexandria and the Cubs are out to their biggest lead of the game. Tucker now with six quick points here to start the third quarter. And Alexandria just like that has outscored Plainview 8 to 2 here in the first minute 56 seconds of the third quarter. This is a key point, key stretch, I believe, here for Plainview. And I'm sure that's why Coach, Co Coach Coker called the timeout. If you remember, Alexandria jumped off to a 5 to nothing start to stop the game, and Coach Coker called a timeout before we were a minute into the game. You're right. So strategically using those timeouts, it worked for him in the first quarter. And I am impressed with Coach Coker, not only for the for the Wimp Sanderson impression, but uh, he he's got his he's got the jacket unbuttoned now, and and he had the jacket buttoned for he, he's media savvy. When Gerhard interviewed him earlier, he had the jacket buttoned, and he's got it unbuttoned for the game. He knows what he's doing. And Will Kurt was trapped right in front of the Alexandria bench, and they're going to call a blocking foul against Luke Tucker. I thought he might have traveled before. Let's get another look at it. Mm. Close call. You see Coach Johnson there trying to make the call for him. That's two fouls on Tucker. They go deep to Kirk. Nice pass, and Kirk slams it home. So Will Kirk getting it going now. Two buckets here to start the third quarter. It's a six-point lead for Alexandria. Nick Porter left open, misses the three, and Kirk's got the rebound. I've always been told the best way to beat the press is to throw over it if you can, and that's what Plainview did on that previous possession. Got some pushing and shoving inside between Swink and Kirk, and I believe they got Swink for the foul. We get another look at the play here by Kirk. And Kirk at 6-4, at least he's what he's listed on our roster. Use it to go in and lay that one in for the basket. So the timeout already paying some dividends for Coach Coker. Up, oh, then we get a turnover here. These are the type type plays that this pressure starts starts wearing on you. There you see Willingham with the travel. Plainview starting the second half in the man-to-man. -man. Coach Coker telling Gerhard they're normally a man-to-man -man team, but they had to employ that zone a lot in the first half. Luke Tucker's drive is no good. Swink with the offensive rebound. He's just so big and so strong in there, Robert. A nice rebound there by Swink after the miss by Luke. Puts it in, and the Cubs out back to an eight-point lead. Swink with four points here in the quarter already. That is his average. Alexandria back to match their largest lead of the game. Eight points. Willingham open top of the key, and he hits a three. You can't leave him open. That's his second three of the game, eight point of the game. Cuts the lead to five at 41-36. Valley Cubs on the attack. Alton Davis, strong move inside against number 22, Isaiah Glover, who gets whistled for the foul. And it will be a shooting foul, so Alton Davis will be heading to the free throw line, his first trip there today. Davis has four points in the game, all four coming in the first quarter. See Alton there with a the dribble. And lays his first shot in. A lot of experience on this Alexandria team. A lot of seniors. Davis a senior. Tyrell Gay a senior. Nick Porter a senior. A coach's luxury when you've got yeah. guys who've been there. They've been tested. Davis misses the second, so one of two on that trip. He's got five points in the game now. Back to a six-point lead as we approach the midway point of the third quarter. Alexandria going to the half-court pressure now, mixing it up defensively. Willingham is open in the corner, and he makes Alexandria pay. Again, Alexandria leaving Chase Willingham open. And that's two threes in a row for that young man. It's a now a – well, I believe they gave Alexandria yep. those points. Yep. We'll have to – Get that changed up. Should be 42-39. And now they've got it corrected, so it's back to a three-point game. Look at Willingham wide open in the corner. No hesitation at all. He was ready for it, had his shot, and made it. 
Dakota Kelly comes in. Nick Porter takes a seat. Tucker throws it in the backcourt. Tyrell Gay chases it down, so the Valley Cubs will attack. So Plainview since that timeout by Coach Coker. Robert, it's kind of eased their way back into this game. Both timeouts have worked for them. Not only that one, but the one at the beginning of the game. They have responded. Tucker tries another three and misses this one. And we've got a foul over the bat. Nice job that time by Plainview's Dylan Clark. Blocking out, getting the rebound. We'll see it again. That was Dakota Kelly over the back. So here we are again. Plainview now, Robert, with a chance to pull to within one or tie the game with a three. Pass along the baseline and another whistle and a foul on Alexandria on the floor. I believe they got <laughs> number. Oh, I couldn't really re tell who that was on. I believe it was on Royals. Ro they, 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 they thought he signaled 24, but there's, he's not in the game. He's not in the game. Oh, almost another three by Willingham. It rimmed in and out. That would have tied the game. Here comes Alexandria with a three-point lead. Young is back in the game. Tyrell Gay tries a three, and he drains it. So Tyrell Gay, believe it or not, that's his first points of the game. And it gives Alexandria a, a six-point lead. Plainview looking to answer. Kirk steps outside and hits a wow. three. The big fella showing some range here. So he got the dunk earlier, shows he can shoot a three, and we're back to three at 45-42. Mr. Kirk's got himself a seven-point quarter in the works after being held scoreless in the first half, and Alexandria misses the three, so Plainview back with the ball, down by three. Valley Cubs just so far, Robert, have not been able to put them away. Willingham, baseline drive is no good. Rebound by Kelly. They ran him off the three-point line. He had to drive that time, Robert. He did. And the Cubs, see if they can, yeah, there it is. That's what the Cubs are looking for. Bucket off the glass, takes it back to a five-point lead for Alexandria. Alton Davis now seven points in the game, 47-42. Willingham open for a moment. Now he's trapped, will drive baseline and misses the layup, but Kirk's there, he misses the follow. Ball is loose. And Coach Coker trying to save possession of the basketball, calls a timeout with a minute 54 left here in the third quarter. So 47-42, Valley Cubs with a five-point lead. A reminder coming up at the conclusion of the game. We will select our America's first player of the game. That player will receive a $25 gift card from America's first Federal Credit Union, our Holiday Hoop sponsor. And Mr. DJ Heath from Sacred Heart was our player of the game for the first game. He asked me after the game, he said, can I use this anywhere? I said, absolutely. <laughs> I saw that interview and uh, you know what a year Sacred Heart had a year ago and then having a good year so far this year. Yeah. And yeah. DJ Heath was a big part of that team. I remember from the county tournament last year <laughs> demonstrating that he hasn't lost anything winning the award earlier in the day. You know we had a great county tournament here last year and I really am looking forward to this one. Yeah. I think you've got you know, we're sitting here watching Alexandria. We've already seen Sacred Heart and White Plains. White Plains is, looks like they've got a very good team this year. Then Sachs is going to be good again. And Oxford um, plays such tough competition, but they've picked up some big wins this year. Anyway, should be a great county tournament coming up in January. Nice inbound play, and laying it in is Isaiah Glover. So Plainview makes it a three-point game again. Valley comes with the ball. Looks like this game's going to be undecided headed into the fourth quarter. Alexandria took an eight-point lead, but as you said earlier, they cannot put Plainview away. Kelly, Kelly missed the three, excuse me, Robert, and Gay missed the three. 
Luke Tucker, the third time wasn't the charm. And Glover comes down with a rebound, and he is triple teamed, gets it away to his teammate. So three good looks there. Alexandria couldn't come up with any points on that trip. And Tucker especially was open there for that three, just couldn't make it fall. Alexandria's going to get the defensive play there, get the rebound, get the ball back. Yeah, good defense against Cody Willingham on the block. Rebound by Clay Cooper, so Plainview comes up with another stop. Under a minute to play third quarter. It's a three-point Valley Cub lead. Willingham. Up top to Clark. They lob it inside to Glover, and I believe that is going to be off Young's leg. Nick Porter's going to check back into the game. Tyrell Gay will come out. Glover gets it on the inbound play. They go inside, and the shot is no good by Clark, but he is fouled. So that will send Clark to the free throw line with 31 seconds to play here in quarter number three. Trying to pull his team to within two. And he does. And now a chance to make it a one point ball game. Clark's second free throw. No good. So one of two on that trip. It's a two point lead for Alexandria Valley Cubs. Chance to possibly play for the final shot. Nick Porter controls out high, guarded by Willingham. Porter directing traffic, hits Tucker in the corner. Swink is working the lane. Let's see if they go into him. Here's Tucker in the corner. Shoots a three, misses it short, and it will go out of bounds. Plainview ball with 1.4 seconds left in the quarter. Good job by Alexandria working the clock. Got a good shot. Willingham will just heave it three-quarter court. And the shot is off the mark. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. Alexandria clinging to a two-point lead here over Plainview. We're back to Pete Matthews Coliseum in just a moment here on the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. Christmas season stirs up thoughts of warmth, nostalgia, and homecoming. So this Christmas season, come back home to downtown Gadsden, where we offer a holiday shopping experience like no other, with unique boutiques and shops just waiting for you to walk through the door with your Christmas list. Take a break from the shopping with one of our fantastic downtown restaurants, or even hang around late and enjoy the downtown nightlife. Support your local small businesses with a holiday shopping trip to beautiful downtown Gadsden. I got the one. Oh, no. Fitting the tree through the door? That's feast worthy. So celebrate with the KFC Festive Feast. A bucket of the world's best chicken, our famous sides, biscuits, and our new pumpkin cake. The KFC Festive Feast. Perfect for all those holidays between the holidays. And we're back here at Pete Matthews Coliseum, the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's First Federal Credit Union. Mickey Shadricks and Robert Smith with you as we head into the fourth quarter of a great game. Alexandria leading Plainview by two. Each team scored 16 points in that third quarter. It's a two-point game at halftime. It's a two-point game heading into the final eight minutes. Alexandria misses the shot inside. Glover with the rebound. By the way, one interesting thing in that third quarter, Robert, Dakota Kelly, who had 15 points at halftime, held scoreless in that third quarter. And he's going to need to come up big here in this fourth quarter for Alexandria. Inside to Glover, working against Tucker, goes with the left hand. No good. Nice defense inside by Tucker. Davis on the drive. Does a good job of avoiding, well, I thought he avoided the contact, but they're going to whistle Davis for a charge taken by Cody Willingham. And you see Davis, who got the rebound, brought it all the way down the court. But 
is going to be called for the foul as he goes in to make the shot. I would say that was a great job by Davis avoiding contact and a very good acting job by Cody Whitney. <laughs> and sometimes it happens that That's way. what it takes. Plainview with the ball, down by two. The Bears looking to tie or retake the lead. Clay's drive, he's swatted away from behind by Dakota Kelly. Here come the Valley Cubs on the break. Davis tried to hit Young, who really didn't keep running on that right wing. Alexandria fortunate to keep the ball. And Alton Davis gets another rebound, brings it back down the court. But the Cubs lose it out of bounds. Kirk's coming back into the game, going to the bench is Clark. Tyrell Gay back in the game to inbound. Throws it out to Porter. So the Valley Cubs have Porter, Young, Gay, Tucker, and Kelly in the game. Meanwhile, it's Willingham, Clay, Willingham, Kirk, and Glover on the floor for Coach Robbie Coker's Plainview Bears. Plainview back in the zone now. Played a lot of man in that third quarter. We're going to get a blocking foul here against Cooper Clay, the freshman. Here you see as Nick Porter goes in. There's where the foul occurred. And Porter winds up on the court. Gabe will throw it right back into Porter, just like he did a moment ago. Valley Cubs with a two-point lead. Nick Porter over to Tucker. Pump fake, his drive, pull-up jumper is no good. Rebound by Glover. So again, Alexandria can't extend the lead. Let's see if Plainview can take advantage. Bears have missed on a couple of opportunities to tie or take the lead. Once again, Alexandria, very good, tight man-to-man -man defense, making Plainview work for everything. Kelly with a nice save, good pass behind his back in bounds, but Willingham was able to chase it down. Kirk is posted. They get it to him, guarded by Gay, and that's a mismatch, and Kirk made him pay. And here you see Kirk after he was fouled there with an opportunity to complete the three-point play and to put Plainview in the lead for the first time here in the second half. Kirk had a big third quarter after being held scoreless in the first half. He had seven points in the third. So he's got nine looking for ten, and he gets it. So just like that, Plainview, after falling behind by nine to begin the third quarter, they have retaken the lead, their first lead of the second half, and it comes with five and a half to play in the game. Gay is left open top of the key, misses it. Alton Davis, another offensive rebound, and he puts it back up and in. Here you see Alton Davis, a little turnaround jumper, and it puts Alexandria back in the lead by one with about five and a half minutes to play. That is a typical Alton Davis play right there. Here you go, Plainview gets the lead, and Alexandria Tyrell Gay misses the three, and there is Alton Davis for that offensive rebound, and not only that, he puts it back up and in for his ninth point of the game, gives Alexandria the lead again at 49 to 48. Timeout with 525 to play. Reminder coming up next, it'll be game four of the Holiday Hoops Challenge as Sachs and Geraldine will hook up here. And I believe we've got some Gadsden City Titans coming into Pete Matthews Coliseum. They will be playing tonight against Talladega. That game is scheduled to tip off at 730. And don't forget Oxford and Sparkman at 6. There you see some of the Titans coming in a little early to check out some of the action here at Pete Matthews Coliseum. You know, of course, most of these teams, if they advance to the regional, Robert, there you see Coach Reginald Huff of Gadsden City, his team off to a great, great start this year. They'll play here if they get to the regional. So this provides uh, the county teams get to play here for the county tournament, but the teams from DeKalb County and Etowah County and Talladega County that are participating, they get a chance to come play on this floor. And that's a big thing when you, if you can get to that regional, if you have that experience playing in this, this bigger court, 
just playing here in this atmosphere is a big advantage. And I believe we're going to get Porter with a blocking foul against Willingham. And we're now in the bonus, so that'll send Cody Willingham to the free, free throw line, his first trip to the line in the game. He had a three in the second quarter, and he hasn't scored since. So Willingham with three points, make it four. We are tied again. Plainview, a very good free throw shooting team. Willingham gets both. So Plainview back with a one point lead. And I am impressed by the fundamentals, how well coached both these teams are. But of course, we're more familiar with Alexandria than with Plainview. And very impressed by what we've seen out of the coaching that uh, Coach Coker has done with his team for Plainview. Okay, hits Porter, open from the corner. Porter misses, but there is Davis. Offensive rebound, Alton Davis doing what he does best, keeping the ball alive, drawing the foul, headed to the free throw line. And you know, we talked about that depth of Alexandria, which hasn't come into play as much as we thought, but it, Dakota Kelly stood out in the first half. Luke Tucker in the early part of this second half, and now Alton Davis coming on for Alexandria. Yeah, with that free throw, Davis just hit double figures with 10 points. And he now has 11 as he hits both. So Alexandria back out in front by a point. And they hook up with some full court pressure, waiting to set that trap right at half court. Kirk in the middle. Nice job by Plainview beating the press. Willingham open. Pulls up, shoots. No good. And Alton Davis chases it down. Takes it all the way and draws the foul. Alton Davis making his presence felt in a big way here in the fourth quarter. You see Davis as he drives, goes for the shot. He'll draw the foul. And that'll send him to the free throw line with a chance to extend this very tenuous one point lead for Alexandria. Calmly sinks the first. That foul, by the way, on Chase Willingham. Foul starting to mount for both teams. Davis now four for four in the line here in the fourth quarter. He has 13 points. Six here already in the fourth quarter. Kirk left open. His shot was blocked from behind. Willingham open from the left corner. Left it long. And a foul against Plainview. Boy, Willingham couldn't have asked for a better look there. He was wide open from that left corner. Couldn't make his shot fall. And Alexandria inbounds it. Valley Cubs leading it 53 to 50 as we hit the four minute mark of the fourth quarter. Valley Cubs taking their time here. Very deliberate with their offense. Plainview's gone back to that man. Trying to force the action here a little bit. Alexandria making those crisp cuts. Irel Gay working against Kirk in the lane, draws the foul, and he'll head to the free throw line. So Alexandria doing a good job here, drawing fouls, getting to the line, and I believe that's number three on Kirk. And you see Coach Johnson there to the left of your screen, pulls him up out of his chair. And there he is, taking a rest there. And Alexandria with a chance to extend the lead. Gay gets his fourth point of the game. Sitting beside him, Jacob Welch, young man that Alexandria sports fans know very well. Had a great athletic career at Alexandria in all three sports. Absolutely. Gay misses the second free throw. So it's a four-point lead for Alexandria. Every possession so important now, especially for the Bears of Plainview. We've gone cold from the field here the last couple of minutes. 
Kirk has picked up his dribble, now finds Clay. Out top to Willingham. Willingham shot in the lane is good. Well, Plainview needed that. Makes it a two-point game now. Alexandria with the lead. Porter is hit on the arm by Clay, and Coach Coker, as you can see, is in disagreement with the call. And he has the jacket unbuttoned. He is, he is, he knows we got a game here. So Nick Porter will head to the free throw line for the first time today. Porter has three points, uh, hit a three-pointer in the second quarter. So as always in close basketball games, free throws play a major roll down the stretch. Porter cannot hit the front end of the one and one, so Plainview gets it back, down by two. Willingham in the corner. Back out to Cody Willingham. Play, trying to come off that pick, nothing there. Alexandria still very active on the defensive end. High pick and roll. Willingham went the other way and lost the ball. So here comes Kelly leading the break for Alexandria. Kelly sees an opening, takes it all the way, and Kirk has just picked up foul number four. And you'll see Dakota Kelly as he goes in there. Draws the foul. He has been pretty quiet here in the second half. Correction, that is foul number five on Kirk. So Plainview's big guy heads to the bench. As Will Kirk's night is done, the leading scorer for Plainview goes to the bench after scoring 10 points in the game, all of those in the second half. Dakota Kelly scored all his in the first half. He's got 15 points, but has been held without a point here in the second half. And here's a big shot. He still doesn't have a point here in the second half. As you see Kirk there, not only as close a game as this is, if it happened to go to overtime, that'll be big for Plainview, but it's also big from a matchup standpoint. Kelly now with 16 in the game as he's one of two on that trip to the line. Gives Alexandria a three-point lead. Two and a half minutes to play. Willingham guarded by Kelly on the left wing. Out to Clay and Alton Davis just a little over aggressive there. He's going to be whistled for the foul. And that will be number three on Alton Davis and that'll send Clark to the free throw line. Clark with six points in the game. First trip to the line, however. And he hits the front end of the one and one. That was a big bucket there for Paul Clark for Plainview. Pulls his team to within two with a chance to make it a one point game with 219 to play. This is the second. Tyrell Gay there to pull down the rebound. Two point Valley Cub lead. And Clay a little over aggressive in the backcourt. They're going to whistle the freshman for a foul. That'll be the second foul on him. And Tyrell Gay is going to head to the free throw line. So when you got a two point ball game with just over two minutes, I mean every point is big from here on out. And both teams missing critical free throws here in the fourth quarter. Gay misses both, but look who's there. Alton Davis, Shaw open, hits the three. And what a shot by Riley Shaw. Timely shot there to put the Cubs back out to a five-point lead. But give it up for Alton Davis. Another offensive rebound to give Alexandria that opportunity. And Valley Cubs back to a five-point lead at 58-53. Clay lost it on the baseline, able to chase it back down. Here is Glover trying to get it out to Willingham. Here is Cody Willingham from the corner, and he drains it. Nice shot, and he was not all that open. He just put it right on the mark. Kelly trying to answer, can't do so, and there's Willingham with the rebound. 
So Plainview back to within two, pushing it up the floor. Under a minute and a half to play. Willingham left open, fires again, and hits it again. Two consecutive threes by Cody Willingham. He has 10 points in this fourth quarter alone. And there is the shot that puts Plainview back into the lead. What a great high school basketball game. Just no quit in these either one of these teams. And it looked like Alexandria was starting to put a little distance between themselves and Plainview. Missing some free throws, leaving the door open, and then two back-to-back -back threes by Cody Willingham. As you said, Robert, they're back in front by point. And I made a statement at the outset, Mickey, that if Plainview took Douglas to overtime, and Douglas is a perennially good basketball team, that told me something, and they, they have proven that as this game has worn on. See Alexandria there, huddled around Coach Johnson. Well, now you pretty much have to play ball. You can't, no need to hold the ball, no need to worry about anything other than just playing out the last minute 23 because it is anybody's game now. Every point is precious from this point on. With a minute 23 to go. Alex Alexandria has missed four free throws here in this fourth quarter. Dakota Kelly inbounds it to Tyrell Gay. Plain view, staying in that man-to-man. -man. Valley Cubs with Gay, Shaw, Kelly, Davis, and Luke Tucker on the floor. Gay attacks the lane, has it knocked away. Here comes Plainview on the break. Willingham to Clay, misses the layup, and Davis with the rebound. Here comes Kelly pushing it up the floor. He'll take it all the way, miss the layup, and Clay's there with the rebound for Plainview. So both teams with opportunities for fast break layups, and both come up empty. Here is Willingham, hit from behind by Tyrell Gay. You could kind of see that one coming. Boy, both of these teams just look exhausted. They have both played so hard in this game after both playing last night. And that will send Cody Willingham, the senior, to the free throw line to try to extend his team's lead. And he misses the first. That's the first thing he's done wrong here in this fourth quarter. Again, he's got 10 points in the fourth quarter alone, 13 overall. And he gets another free throw here. And it rattles around and falls through. So 14 points now for Willingham. It is a two-point plain view lead. Half a minute to go. And Coach Johnson will call a timeout here to talk some strategy. 29.7 seconds left. And this is the type of game and the time of the game where you should point out 20.9, 29.7 seconds left in regulation. Mm -hmm. As Plainview knows very well, they played an overtime game last night against Douglas and lost 72 to 70. Alexandria a little easier time last night against Cleveland County picking up a, a win. So who do the Valley Cubs look for here, Robert? Down by two. Cubs got a lot of folks that they can, let's see. Davis in the ball game, Nick Porter, Tyrell Gay, Luke Tucker. Whoever's open. All five of these guys can make a big yeah. shot. Gay will inbound to Nick Porter. So here we go. Porter picked up by Clay. Porter's going to drive. His layup is no good. Rebound by Willingham. He is double teamed, looking for some help. And throws it ahead to Willingham. And Willingham is hit at half court by Dakota Kelly. So this will be Chase Willingham heading to the free throw line with 11.8 seconds left. Porter made a good drive, had a good look. Didn't get it to fall. 
And this is big right here for Plainview. First free throw is good by Chase Willingham. And with that shot, Alexandria has to have a three pointer just to tie the ball game. This is a huge free throw here by this young man, Chase Willingham. Just to make it a two possession game with only 11 seconds remaining. And he hits it. So it's a four point game, 62 58. Valley Cubs with 11.8. They roll it inbound to Tyrell Gay. Gay hurries it up the floor, fires up a three, misses it, out of bounds. It'll go over to Plainview. 6.9 seconds remain. So Plainview will look to get the ball in bounds and Valley Cubs will have to foul quickly if they don't come up with a steal. Willingham gets it into play and it's out of bounds. Alexandria ball. That was great defense by Alexandria. 4.9 seconds, Cubs need a quick shot. Gay gets the pick, shoots another three, can't get it to fall, and that'll do it. Your final score is 62 to 58. So Alexandria goes down to Plainview. What a performance by Plainview here in this uh, ball game after losing a heartbreaker a night ago. As we said, both teams played last night. Uh, that, that, uh, that's got to factor into the ball game. But Plainview came here to play basketball, played very good fundamental basketball, was not intimidated by playing up two classifications, and wins the ball game here 62-58 over Alexandria. You see Coach Ronnie Coker there with Gerhard. Gerhard will speak with Coach Robbie Coker and our America's first player of the game in just a moment, which is that young man you see walking with Coach Coker, number 20. Cody Willingham will go down to Gerhardt in just a moment. Great game by both teams. Hard fought game as Plainview improves to six and three with the win. Alexandria falls to five and two. Gerhardt now let's send it down to him courtside with Coach Coker. Guys, thank you very much, Coach. Another tough battle. You were in tough, two tough battles in two straight days. Talk about the way your kids fought and won this game. You know, last year, we got a group of guys coming back from last year where we lost seven games by two points or less. So we live in that zone, and we're very familiar with it, and actually we're, very, we're probably too comfortable with it. These guys are used to playing close battles. They're used to having to box out with their lives on the line, and that's just what they did. They made their free throws. They kept their head, kept their composure, and made some big shots down the stretch. Talk about just the fact that you're able to pull this out at the end of the game, kind of what that means for your season, being able to pull out these close games. No doubt, it's, you know, the reason you play this event is to get in this arena, and you got, you've got big time officials, you got a big time competitor going against you. For us to be able to get that win, especially the way it, it went down to the, the bitter end, it's good for our kids, maybe build a little confidence that, hey, we're down two with two to play, we're right in this game. Absolutely, your team played very well. Led by this guy on my right, Cody Willingham. And, and Cody, obviously, it's a huge, huge game. You are America's first Federal Credit Union player of the game. Talk about the way this game played out, especially there in the second half. Uh, we come out strong in the second half. I thought we played er we played bad early. Come out strong, we battled. That's what, that's what we are. We battled. One of the things that Coach said is that being able to play in this environment, being able to play in those close games, and pulling out wins is so huge for you guys. Talk about just the mentality it takes to play well in, this, in these kind of close games. That's something to live for right here, playing this kind of gym. I've never played in here, and it's an honor to play. And I look forward to playing in the postseason right here. It's a good experience for us, and we'll be ready. Your debut went really well. You get a $25 gift certificate from our friends at America's First. Thank you very much. Guys, enjoy the win. Thank you. All right, thanks a lot, Gerhard, and congratulations to Plainview. Cody Willingham, our America's first Federal Credit Union player of the game, finished with 14 points, 11 of those in the fourth quarter. We'll take a break, come back, and put a wrap on this game as we continue with our coverage of the TV24 Holiday Hoops Challenge presented by America's first Federal Credit Union.